welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing good today. Um, I hope everyone has a is having a wonderful Wednesday. Um, today we are just bringing you a easy 10 minute makeup tutorial. I thought I would just come to you guys or come on here and uh, just show y'all how to just do some makeup and do it quickly if you need to. Um, and so sit back and relax and enjoy the video you guys. Um, so I just of course used my Cali Ray primer right now. I'm going in with <clears throat> excuse me the Beauty Blender skin tint and mine is in this shade medium five and that is like one of my favorite skin tints y'all. I love that skin tint. It just it's so blurring, you know, it's it's beautiful. Um, but at any rate, let's go ahead and blend in that in <clears throat> for you guys with my damp sponge. You know I'm gonna always use my damp sponge. When I'm doing my uh, skin tint or foundation or whatever. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I most of the time use skin tints. I don't really use a lot of foundation. Um, I do have them. But for the most part, I go with skin tints. I'm just doing my brows. Y'all feeling them in. I go with skin tints because my skin tone fluctuates a lot. Whether, um, you know, and it depends on, you know, just if I'm how long I'm outside or how long I'm inside. And so... Sometimes I might, you know, mess around and use a foundation that is um, too light or too dark, just depending on my skin tone. So, but that, that doesn't happen to me. Oh, and I'm sorry, I just put on my concealer, and that was the NARS in the shade Praline Concealer, and that is the one size um, bronze and palette. If y'all see, it has three different shades of bronzer in it, and I love that bronzer. Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying. So, yeah, so that's why I like to use skin tints because skin tints will kind of stretch for you with your complexion. And it gives you a little bit of grace because I was looking at one of my videos. I was like, wow, that, that foundation really oxidized real bad on me. And I don't know which one it was. I have to go back and look. But I need to definitely change the shade on that. And so... I hate when that happens, but yeah, so this one right here is good for my complexion. And then I have the shade medium four. I use that one when it's in the winter time. And then also the Danessa Yummy Skin Tint shade number seven. That's my jam right there. Now that one, I can use that whenever. I mean, no matter if I have a tan or not, it's, it's going to work for me. Um, and then I have a few more skin tints. I have the Lisa Eldridge hers. It's good, but I just have to use two different ones. Um, and then um, I have the Chanticai Skin Tint in the shade Wheat. That one is a good one too, but I like to save that one for special occasions. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, so yeah, so this is my little morning uh, routine sometimes when I have to go to work. And right there, I'm using one of my favorite blushes, y'all. That's the Estee Lauder. Um, blush and I think it's in the shade rose something but oh it's so pretty it doesn't even look rose to me it looks more like a terracotta but I think it's it's something rose and I, I'm gonna put all of the information down in the description box y'all but this is just this um blush here y'all when I saw it I immediately bought it I think I was in Belk one day and they had it on um display and I bought it right then. I want to really buy a backup. But why Why do I want to buy backup? I don't need a backup. Y'all, I ain't barely used that one. <laughs> buy backup, that stuff be done dried up on me. So I'm just really holding myself back from buying a backup. But yes, I really like this blush here for my skin tone. It's beautiful. Um, and it lasts all day. Estee Lauder has some good products, y'all. We be sleeping on Estee Lauder. Right now, I'm just blending in my edges of my blush with my fingers. I told y'all my little technique that I do. And I think right now, yeah, that's that's that same um, concealer that I used under my eyes. And I'm just going to highlight up under my brows a little bit. I told y'all I have to do that. I have to do that. Um, it is a must because it just looks so much better to me when I do that. Um, and that's that shade praline again. Usually I use the NARS matte in the little, um, you know, in the little jar, the little small little jar. Um, I usually use that one to go under my brows, but for the, some reason this morning I couldn't put my hands on it. And I didn't feel like searching 
for it. So I just used what was right there. That was that praline. And then that matte one, it's in the same shade. It's in praline as well. Praline is a good shade for me, um, for my under eye. Um, and just for my face, period, praline is a really, really good shade from NARS. And NARS is another company that I cannot find my shade. I mean, I have tried, um, what is that, Tahoe? Um, the one up under Tahoe, what is it? starts with an S. I can't think of the name of it. Um, but I've tried that one, the one that is the shade lighter than the Tahoe. That one is, the Tahoe is definitely too dark. It's too orange and too deep. And then the one that's up under the Tahoe, I can't think of the name of it. That's the one that starts with the S, the one that's a shade lighter than the Tahoe. That one is too, it has too much brown in it. I think I was looking like that because somebody's dog kept barking this morning. I was like, is everything all right? But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so, um, so, and then I said, well, let me just try uh, another shade. And I think I tried Valencia. And that thing, I didn't like that one. It, it was something too cool toned or something. So someone told me to try, um, like I think it starts with a B, not Strum, but Barcelona. So I'm gonna try Barcelona. And I saw some people with Barcelona and they kind of was similar to my complexion. Oh, I'm just doing my mole. Yeah, I have a, a, a natural mole on my face right there. So I just sometimes take like a black um, eyeliner pencil or something or eyeliner pen and just kind of fill in my little mole right there. So that's what I was doing. Oh, and I'm putting on my eyeliner right now from Lisa Eldridge in the shade, I think it's Umber. It's just a brown, beautiful brown eyeliner. I love that eyeliner. It lasts a long time. It lasts really all day. And right then I'm just taking the excess on my um, sponge and I am just... Um, you know, just making my eyelids one shade um, and just giving rid of that discoloration there. And I'm just going to put that in my crease, that one size in my crease. That that one size bronzer, y'all, it's, it's the bomb. I love that that little thing right there. I, I use all those bronzers in there. The Today, for some reason, I don't know, I just went for that bottom one. But I used the, the first one, the second one, and the last one. But, um... I think one of them is real warm. One of them is neutral, kind of a little bit more neutral. And then the top one, I think, might be a little lighter or something. I don't know. But get it because it's it's, it's worth every penny. And then I don't even think it's that expensive. That's the thing I like about One Size. His um, products are not that expensive. Um, I want to try a couple of his blushes. I don't have any of them, but I said I was going to give them a try. And I also want to try his... Um, setting powder. I really don't wear a lot of setting powder unless I'm going to do like my under eye kind of bright. I'll do that. And then I, I think I have that Pat McGrath um, under eye powder, which is the freaking bomb. Whew, I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to use that in a few minutes. That thing right there, have your under eyes so blurred. Oh, and I'm just lining my lips this morning, you guys. And I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury I think it's the Pillow Talk Medium 3. It's the deepest one. Um, and I'm just lining my lips. Because right now, all I have on my lips, I do have something on my hat. The good old Vaseline. Y'all know I'm a Vaseline girl. I use Vaseline for everything. <laughs> we grew up on Vaseline, honey. Okay, so that's the Bath & Body Works um, lip gloss that I love. And I cannot think of the name of it. But I'm not going to use it, but I use that all the time. Y'all see how, how much in there. I used it to death. But I'm going to go with that Estee Lauder and Black Cherry lip gloss. Because I was considering using that other one. But I was like, let me just go with a little fall color. Fall inspired gloss. So I'm just putting that on. I love that lip gloss, y'all. And I have the lip balm too. The Black Cherry lip balm. That one is, whew, that one is real good too. I love both of them. <laughs> but yeah, this lip gloss here, y'all, is great for the fall and for the winter, too. And shoot, if you want to wear it in the summer, wear it in the summer. So that's that Pat McGrath. Uh, I was telling y'all about that Pat McGrath under eye. Um, um, is it called a setting powder? It's called something. Blurring something, but it's good. Whatever it's called, <clears throat> it's, it's a really good product. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face with that Cali Ray setting spray. I wanna thank y'all for watching this video. I mean, I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope I gave you all some tips. Um, and yeah, that's all I do in the morning when I'm going to work. I don't do too much extra. And shoot, sometimes I do that. That's all I do when I'm going out. Y'all come back and see me again, okay? Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to like and subscribe and share my content so other like-minded people can find me. 